Hello. Springy. Yeah. It's, it's quite cool because we've, uh, if we're filming and one of us has forgotten the script to read off on the lines for the scene before. <laughs> um, <laughs> You know, it's, it's quite it's quite easily to uh, to borrow by force his uh, his scripture. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> by force, yeah. yeah. I'm not giving it up easy, no. Now your brother's here as well. Yeah. And uh, I would imagine you don't care what happens today as long as you do better than him. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. He did too. better than him in the Battle of Hogwarts. Yeah, at least so. I've won. I've won one of the main things anyway. What's uh, next? Oh, now I understand one of you's planning on being a professional golfer. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, all right, keep dreaming. No, it's, it's one, of those, one of those things. I'm a very avid golfer, but I don't think that'll ever happen. But it was definitely uh, a pipe dream. I saw your brother earlier today, and I said to him, are you any good? He goes, not really. I said, what's your plan today? He said, one simple plan, got to beat my brother. Yeah, that's about right. So Same my, for you? My plan as well, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it wasn't pleasant at all. It wasn't, it wasn't good. And I was told that it would be, I, well, I assumed that it would be a close set. And uh, there was more people than in this room right now um, watching. <laughs> Watching me cry like a little girl. Um, on it. And actually, I had to play a stand up comedian, which was without doubt the scariest audition I've ever done. Because you had to go into a room and make two people laugh. And I had to prepare a five minute stand up routine. And they literally just sat there and they walked in and they were like, next. And like, so I walk in. And I was like, hi, hi, hello. We got James and Oliver. How, how do you tell each other apart there? Uh, I'm the better looking one, <laughs> with the bigger head by the look of it. Um, uh, we, we have a few differences, like I've got a, uh, short hair at the moment. Um, so this time last week I had hair down to my shoulders and a beard, so yeah. first time we met Julie was at King's Cross Station on the first film. And um, it was a freezing cold January morning. And then all of a sudden you just stick in the back of the train. Where are my boys? Where are my children? We wrapped and then I went on holiday with a few of my mates. And we were by the pool, and then there was like other guys there on, on their holidays. So I was chatting to this guy every day by the pool. And throughout the course of the week, you're saying, why is your hair getting blonder? <laughs> and uh, I had to make out like I was I accidentally brought blonde shampoo. So, <laughs> so like the sun was making the, the ginger come out again, which is right. a, yeah. So, you had slowly actually become a ginger. Exactly. Well, for the filming of the movies. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not in the contract here, Warner Brothers. Let's, let's talk about this. Yeah. So you will have experience of what it's like to be ginger and not be ginger. Do people treat you differently as a ginger? <laughs> a bit, yeah. I was, uh, I was actually at White Hart Lane watching uh, Villa play Spurs years ago. And we were sitting, so I'm in the away end and you're in the home end there, like right next to each other. And Villa scores, so we were all this, that and the other. And the whole block there was singing, sit down, you ginger. Twit. <laughs> and uh, you did you want to say it's not my natural hair? No, I ended up just going like that, and they they okay. shut up after that. But <laughs> it was uh, it was. See, it was someone right. spoke to me afterwards and said, uh, like at one of these events, and said, uh, "Oh, is it true that you you hugged each other and said how much you loved each other afterwards?" No, no, no. <laughs> no. we'll be online dating on this. As we... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to lock you in a room. <laughs> I'll pull up some pictures of some prospective ladies, and then you can decide who you like. Okay. But uh, but we have watched the game four on the telly together, and um, James's ex girlfriend was up at the time, and it was when Villa scored in the last minute to win the game. I think the first time they did it, and she made them so my friend herself going absolutely wild, and uh, she said. It's only a game. And, and, oh, oh and she didn't last. That's why it's an X, really, I think, yeah. Yeah, that's why she didn't last. Guys, how long does it take for the rest of the cast to be able to tell you two apart? Did you ever pull a switch on them at any point? I don't know. Some, some people get it straight away, um, and other people it takes quite a while. Well, yeah, I could honestly, like, like yeah. if you had the same haircuts now, I could probably tell the difference. Yes, now. At yeah. one yeah. end Once of this great hall. Once again. Mm. If they had the same they are, because they're not totally, totally identical. Yeah. But, but also, Olive said, still Olive's got a little look. thing there on his neck. A love bite. No, no, he's got, <laughs> <laughs> he's got, a, sad, yeah. he's got a little a mole on his neck. So that's all right, how we knew, and he showed us that. It'd be a bit difficult from the back, and you'd sort of try a jig, yeah, Jane? Oh, no, I'm yes, good that, at that, you see, I can do it from, from the back. From the back, can you? Can you? I can now. Yeah. Oh, now how? But no, but if they had the same haircut. Yeah. Really? Really? Sure. You have a totally different walk on the way you hold it. That's oh, a yeah, skill. No. <laughs> oh, OK. Early days. Yes, yes. I feel in those 13 minutes on this planet longer, I've uh, developed a lot more experience and, you know. Um, but no, I don't, really, I don't really say too much to him about it. He's got the wrinkles to prove it, I think. That's the... 
Oh, okay. <laughs> Tonight, you will like forget about cricket and focus yep. on the blue and orange because you're going to an Oilers game. Is that right? We are, yes. Yeah, definitely. Um, so, could you do something? Could you spell? Could you do something sort of um, awesome over the Oilers so that we continue the streak? I don't know if you know how the Oilers are doing. Well, they, I know they haven't been doing too too well before before <laughs> this, this this week though. But I mean, they've uh, excused the pun. They're looking a bit magical at the moment with the six, with seven, <laughs> seven to nothing. You know, let's get it in. Let's get it in. Um, All right. You know, hope, hopefully, they'll do it again tonight. So many, to be honest with you, you've made like 10 years. It, it, um, I think one of the a surreal one would be when we were there and Liam Gallagher from Oasis walked past. And it was like, I was like, that's cool. I was like, what have you been? What, what, what have you, uh, and he was like, how's your day going? And he was like, yeah, I've seen the train. Like, he just walked out of Gringotts and, and the set of half the train is the best thing you'd seen all day, so. But it was, um, yeah, that, that was that was. That's great, just to wind Matt Lewis, who plays Neville. He's a huge Oasis fan, and obviously he wasn't there that day. So uh, I quite enjoyed that. <laughs> St. Louis de Haha. I'm going to go with town again. Town? Yeah. Yeah, you're yeah. right. You're right. Small town in Quebec. All right, next one. Moon Seed. That's a potter potion. That is a potter potion. Yes, a poison. But poison. Yeah, you don't want that. You don't want that. You don't want that. Uh, all right, uh, Minegro. Ooh. Sounds... I'm gonna say Potter. See, I wouldn't have said that. I'd have said, I'd have said Town. What do we think? Sounds like a native. Okay, that's what Yeah, I'll say Town. It's a potion. It's a potion I want, too. It causes uh, the drinker's hair to grow out rapidly. Can we do this against each other? So yeah. I'm on a... Oh, okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. let's switch it up. All right, I like that. All right, because uh, we have three more, so we can okay. do, like, best yeah, of three. Okay. I'm going to put you to a test. Now, James, I want you to think of a number between one and ten. Yep. Okay, Oliver, what numbers are you thinking of? Three? No. <laughs> fail. Epic. Epic fail. Awesome. If you call them Fred and George, it might work. <laughs>